Hey, what's going on, everyone? Welcome to Geeks and Gamers Play. And I gotta say, it must be close to about 10 years, give or take, since we got that trailer or teaser for Dead Island 2. And then, of course, we knew the game just never came out. But it's recently been resurrected with Gamescom, which has just passed as well. So not only did we get an announcement that, yes, the game is still actually in development, they've changed studios, all that type of good stuff, and it will be released... We've also found out what might be a new interesting feature. I'm not really thinking this is a good thing to be honest with you, but it's definitely different. So Dead Island 2 will feature Alexa voice control. So after so much time hoping and dreaming, Dead Island 2 finally gets revealed at Gamescon and the sequel will come with an interesting feature. So it's not too uncommon for a game development studio to take a long time to release a new installment in a series. There can be years between video games and its follow-ups. Yeah, we know that for sure. Sometimes even decades. Oh yeah. But more than often than not, they will eventually see the light of day. This is the case for Dead Island 2. While there had been rumours that the sequel was in development hell, the game was finally revealed recently with an awesome, gory trailer. On top of this, Dead Island 2 will also come with a rather unique feature. So, uh, Dan Buster Studios, Dead Island 2 will support voice activation through Alexa Game Control. A post on Amazon's website says players will be able to initiate certain actions in the game using a series of natural and intuitive voice commands. This includes being able to interact with NPCs, swap out weapons, engage in special combat abilities, and even goad zombies. Perhaps the most interesting thing about this function is that it doesn't require gamers to actually have an Echo device. Instead, being able to use any microphone or headset, this feature will reportedly work on both PC and on console ports of the game. Okay, so... While it's pretty infrequent to see implemented, this is not the first time voice commands and gaming have gone together. Titles such as Skyrim have famously, famously utilized Elixir, uh, but in this instance, it was a device itself that contained a rather rudimentary version of Bethesda's 2011 epic release. Voice control has never been fully caught in a game, so it remains to be seen whether it will work in Dead Island 2 will be more of a gimmick. Now, I'm willing to bet it's going to be more of a gimmick. Uh, I don't see, even if it does work the way intended, I don't see many players actually using it. They'd rather just use their mouse and keyboard or controller as opposed to actually talking to it. And we can all think of a number of reasons why as to how that could go wrong pretty quickly and get kind of awkward. But hey, I'm just still kind of amazed that Dead Island 2 actually is coming out after all this time. If I remember correctly, I think the uh, initial teaser trailer from like nearly a decade, decade ago might be one of PlayStation's most viewed videos over on their YouTube channel. So that's pretty interesting. But what do you guys make of all this? Are you looking forward to Dead Island 2? Let me know in the comment section down below. Be sure to subscribe to Geeks and Gamers Player. Check out geeksandgamers.com and I'll see you all in the next video.